Yo, what is up you guys? It's Makai here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys the new update for the Hulger 26. Uh, the Hulger 26 just got buffed a couple days ago and I used it and it's actually quite well. It's actually pretty good with these attachments I've put on. Uh, these attachments I've put on is the attachments from Modern Warfare 3. Uh, it is, I believe, the G236. That's what I made it into instead of a light machine gun. It is now an assault rifle. But uh, yeah, let's get to these attachments. But before we get into these attachments, uh, can you guys give me a like? Last video got 35 likes and I'm so glad that we got that many likes. We just keep growing and growing and growing. And also, we have reached 422 subscribers. That is amazing to me, you guys. I reached 400 subscribers uh, two days ago and now we've reached 22 subscribers more in, in two days. So you guys keep it up. And yeah, let, now let's get to these attachments. Now for the Hoger 26, I'm using these attachments that is quite balanced and it's really fast and you can get long range. Now um, for the barrel, I'm using the XRK Ultralight. I'm using this because the aim down sight speed on the this LMG is really slow, but once you put these attachments, it will make it really quite fast. Uh, I advise you not to use this barrel though, not the FTAC uh, Spitfire, because it is really bad, the recoil is bad, and then you cannot uh, finish off the enemy like that. They will be able to um, kill you first, even though you shot them first. So I advise you to use the XRK Ultralight more, just for aim down sight speed. And then for the under barrel, it's the Commando foregrip, so you can get that recoil stabilization and that aiming stability. Uh, the ammunition is the 30 round max because it is it improves aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, and moving speed, and reload quickness speed. There is no cons to this at all. The only cons is that the magazine ammo capacity, but you really only need 30 rounds anyway. You don't really need a 100 round mag in search and destroy or whatever. I mean, you can use the 100 round mag if you're playing a uh, war zone, but right now, this is the um, I'm using only this loadout for multiplayer. I'm gonna show you guys a war zone loadout too at the end of this um, attachment video right here. Uh, rear grip is the triple grip tape for more aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. And then the perk is the side of hand because I don't know why, but the reload quickness is not that fast for this gun. So I advise you to use the side of hand, but if you don't mind the slowness of the ammunition, you could use like a, a muzzle, like the monolithic suppressor, or you could use a stock and go faster and use a no stock if you're playing multiplayer. But yeah, anyways, um, that's the attachments for this gun right here. Now, if you want to use a blueprint for this gun, like I got this blueprint from season one, I believe. If you use this blueprint from season one, it will change the iron sight. So uh, if, yeah, this one right here called Gilded, it will change the iron sight because as you see the iron sight, it's like, I don't know what that's called, but like they cut it down the middle and then like the iron sight is quite weird. But yeah, if you're using this, just note that the iron sight is going to change if you use this and then if you use this one this is from season three the iron sight is not going to change at all as soon as you take that optic that's already on there it's just going to be the same thing as the default blueprint all right now it's time for the warzone loadout so the warzone loadout that i used in one game i got six kills with it before i died with 40 people left uh the muzzle is the monolithic suppressor for increase of sound depression and damage range and then the optic is the gi mini reflex just because the iron sight is quite weird so you're not going to be able to get uh, uh shots that well in warzone so you put any reflex on there i personally like the gi mini reflex stock is the fss ranger for an increase of aiming stability rear grip is the triple grip tape for aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed you i know you heard that voice crap my bad for that <laughs> And then the last thing is the under barrel is the commando foregrip for recoil stabilization and aiming stability. But if you do not want to use the commando foregrip, you can also use the ranger foregrip for an increase of range and accuracy. And then for the secondary weapon I'm using, uh, you could use any weapon you want for the secondary. Like I, if you're using the LMG, I would personally use the RPG just because um, you have a hundred round max, so you don't really need a pistol or anything like that. I personally just use the RPG. And then for the perks I'll be using is EOD, and then I'll use Ghost for that. And the reason why you should use EOD is because if you have an RPG, then you're gonna hit yourself sometime. So personally, I'll use EOD. But if you don't wanna use EOD, you can use Cold Blooded so you won't be detected from anything AI or, um, what is that called, Thermal from Thermoscope. And then the last perk, you could choose Amped for the faster rocket speed, or you could choose Tune Up for an increase of, um, it would be a faster revive time for your teammates or whatever. 
And then the lethal I'm using is the Semtex for the Warzone Lada, and then the Tactical is the Stim. I would use the Heartbeat Sensor, but uh, the Heartbeat Sensor just became like trash now. I don't know why. Like everybody uses Ghost, so now the Heartbeat Sensor is not that good anymore in Warzone, but yeah. I personally use the stem if I run out of armor plates and then I just use the stem to just help me out real quick. All right, you guys, thank you for checking out this video. I hope it really helped you a lot. This buff, I'm so glad that they buffed this LMG because when it first came out in season one, I really wanted to use it, but it was just garbage. It was just trash. Uh, I'm really looking forward to maxing this weapon out. I might get platinum on my LMGs because I already got platinum on my ARs and uh, some machine guns. But yeah, anyways, I uh, hope you like this video. hope you subscribe for more. And yeah, thank you for um, watching this video. I'm out.